this condition is very rare but if you don't see your doctor within six hours when it happens you as a man might lose your testes and you know when you lose your testes that can result in infertility that is why if you are a man this particular video is for you good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture on youtube channel my name is messi mary popularly known as a nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today we are going to be talking about testicular torsion what is testicular torsion what triggers testicular torsion how can testicular torsion be prevented and also what are the complications arising from testicular torsion but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel and these are content you are interested in please click on that subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out For all my returning subscribers this is nurse mess mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back happy to see you watching our video today today we're going to be talking about testicular torsion the first question is what is testicular torsion i'm breaking it down i'm going to break it down for the men you know you have a scrotum outside your body and when you look at that scrotum you see two balls there two balls inside the scrotum those things you normally call balls those are known as your testicles they are known as your testicles that is that that's the first word then the second word is torsion when you hear torsion what should come to your mind is something twist there's a twist you understand so testicle torsion it simply means that there's a twist in the testicle all right so i'm going to be explaining why this testicular torsion is an emergency let's start from the basis for example this is the testicle now and you have wires all around it let's those wires now we we'll call it the spermatic cords those wires around it that are holding it they are your spermatic cords your blood flow everything comes through so if this thing assume there's a wire i can't i don't really know how to explain but just assume there's a wire up if this testicle twists for example it twists definitely those wires are going to twist alongside and those wires you are seeing those spermatic cords you are seeing up they contain the blood vessels the blood that's going to get to the testicle so when it twists they cut off blood supply to this testis. So, and when there is no blood supply to this testis, it is going to die. Am I making sense? So, when the blood supply is cut off as a result of that twist, this testis is going to die. Because every organ in our body requires good blood supply to be able to function effectively well. And if there is a twist in the testicle, the blood supply is going to cut off and the testes is going to die. For those asking how serious it is, it is very, very serious. Because for those that, like, almost, for those that reported to the hospital when it happens, within four to six hours, they get their testes back. Most of them, almost all of them, they have their testes back. If they go to the hospital within four to six hours. For those that go to the hospital within 12 hours, half of them get their testes back for those that waited within 24 hours as 24 hours before they get to the hospital only 10 percent will have their testes back you can see it's very important the early you rush to the a and e that's the accident and emergency unit the better for your testes so that is why it is an emergency so you may want to ask what signs do i look for so that when it happens i will rush to the hospital one of the signs that you should look for is severe pain in the testes in one of the testes so if all of a sudden you just have this severe pain in your testes don't wait too long if you can drive i don't advise you drive because when you're in pain you must lose concentration if it's to call the ambulance call the ambulance but just make sure you get to the hospital within four to six hours to untwist it to untangle it so that blood supply can rush down to the testes so one of the obvious signs is what is pain and another is visible lumps on the swelling you'll be seeing some lumps around the testes one testes is likely going to be higher than the other that is also a sign you're going to be having discoloration nausea and vomiting abdominal pain 
pain more than usual and also fever so don't even wait for the symptoms don't even wait my advice don't even wait to be experiencing the fever the nozzle and vomiting uh, the, the, don't even wait to start checking your temperature so if you notice a severe pain in your testes what our advice go to a and &E. don't even wait to start seeing oh am i having fever that is my own personal advice don't even wait to say oh is one test is bigger than the other don't even wait once you notice a very severe pain in one of your testes and it's becoming unbearable kindly go to the doctor as soon as possible for those that are asking what actually triggers this uh this testicular torsion let me explain to you for most men like earlier said this condition is rare it's not popular it's not paparazzi like earlier said for most men um their scrotum does their testes are attached to the scrotum so it's it's kind of difficult for it to rotate or twist because their testes are attached to the scrotum so this particular con condition is common with men that has this bell clapper condition bell clapper yeah in which um the testes is not attached to the scrotum the testes is hanging inside the scrotum and you know if something is hanging it can easily twist but if something is not hanging it doesn't twist so that is what for men that have the bell clapper they are more likely to go down to have this experience to have um testicular torsion so that's one thing i should um, you should take note of so most, some research work said that um it is not caused by vigorous exercise or some said that if you do a lot of vigorous exercise it might put you at risk and some said that if you expose yourself to cold it might put you at risk of having testicular torsion but i've told you the major cause is usually happen in men that their testes are not attached to their scrotum properly okay so that that is the major cause and also if you have some minor injury or injury to the testes generally that can result in this testicular torsion but one thing i would advise if you notice the severe pain kindly see your doctor in terms of the risk factors i documented here i have age it is very common at a very teenage age between the age of 12 to 18 yes it is very common between the age of 12 to 18 then also if you have had previous testicular torsion before that can predispose you to having another testicular torsion then another family history if you've had family history somebody in your family have experienced it before that can also put you at risk intense intense uh, intense cold can put you at risk from not all research supports it intense cold and not all research supports a exercise and things like that but if you notice it it's advisable if you notice that severe pain forget what is causing it rush to your doctor as soon as possible in terms of how to prevent it for men that are born with their testes not attached to their scrotum closely the a surgery can be performed to help attach those testes to their scrotum so it doesn't move around and so it doesn't um, twist so that is one of the major ways to prevent it then i think that's the only one then in terms of complications that can arise from testicular contortion one of it is the death of the testes because blood flow blood supply is cut off from the testes and once there is death of the testes it can lead to infertility especially if both testes are affected so this is what i have to share with you about testicular torsion as a man it's important for you to have idea of what is happening in your body especially those that have experienced it before so they understand what is actually taking place so this is an emergency it's a category one like it's a category one emergency if a patient has testicular torsion because they are trying to help this patient um maintain his infertility his fertility they don't want him to lose his fertility or make him infertile they have to rush this patient to the theater to get things done as quickly as possible so it's a number one it's like it's a number one uh category one emergency i would say yeah and i want you as a man if you notice pain whether it has a lot of testicular torsion or not if you're experiencing severe pain in your testes if you're experiencing discharge or anything that doesn't look normal don't be shy to speak with your doctor about it yes because i know most times men are more of the reserve type they feel oh things are going to go away i am strong no you don't have to be strong always when you notice things are not right speak with your healthcare professional speak with your healthcare provider don't be shy so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like 
don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not messy saying thank you bye and see you in our next video